Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Poco X3 Pro in which today we are going to install Oxygen OS. We are going to talk about the prerequisites, we are going to see the flashing process. It is very very straightforward so probably this video will be less than 5 minutes but you guys needed a guide so let's go ahead and follow that. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other. So join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so installing Oxygen OS latest August update on your Poco X3 Pro. These are the things over here. This is the change log and they do recommend you use the latest firmware. So things that you need to take care of, make sure you've backed up all the information on your phone's internal storage because we will be wiping everything, absolutely everything. Make sure you have the latest firmware that is 12.5.2, I believe that is the latest firmware for Vayu and Bhima use 12.5 firmwares only. It does say that clearly. I don't think they support custom kernels, so don't flash custom kernels. First boot the ROM and see if everything is working and make sure your phone has more than 50% battery so that you don't run into any issues at all. Now you do need an unlocked bootloader on your Poco X3 Pro. You do need to have the TWRP recovery installed. The one that I'm using in this particular video is linked in the description. So once you've taken care of all of those things, you just need two files. That is the firmware and the ROM. That's all that you need to flash this particular ROM. If you want Majisk, you can flash it. If you want to stay decrypted, you can flash DFE as well. But I've not done that and I won't be doing that, that in this particular video. So before we start the flashing process, you know, let's make sure that there is no lock screen that is applied to your device. No sort of pattern, pin, password, fingerprint, face unlock, nothing. If you are an MIUI or custom ROM, just make sure you go ahead and remove it. Remove all your MI accounts, Google accounts, sign out of all of them. Reboot your device once and then start with the flashing process. So now we will boot into recovery. So let's go ahead and go to power and click on restart. So press and hold volume up and power to boot into TWRP. Okay. And the moment you see the POCO logo, you can leave the buttons and you will be booting into TWRP recovery. So in case you are encrypted, just enter your lock screen pin when you enter TWRP. So go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik data, cache. I'm not wiping internal storage here because we're going to do a format data anyways. So wipe those first. Okay. Now I'm installing things from the pen drive. If you have things in internal memory, just locate the file. So I'm going to select storage and select USB OTG. Okay. As you can see over here, firmware 12.5.2, select this, add more zips, one plus 80 open beta seven, select swipe to confirm flash now it will be flashing these two files so it will take anywhere between maybe one minute to two minutes these devices these days are pretty pretty quick there you go the firmware has been flashed and now it is flashing the open beta 7 for the oneplus 8t so let's wait for the flash to complete all right so as you can see everything has been flashed now you can ignore these errors of fail to mount over here but apart from that just have a look through the log and make sure that nothing else has failed like flashing the firmware or something now this is where you will be losing everything on your phone's internal storage so i hope you backed everything up go to wipe go to format data type in yes tick mark now reboot system now the first boot will take some time like one or two minutes although it will not take a really really long time like miui but it will take some time so please be patient while the first boot happens and as you can see we already have the oneplus boot animation so let's wait for the boot to complete all right, now I know the screen looks extremely bright, but we have booted, so let's skip the setup part. All right, so just like that, OxygenOS has booted. Now something really important before you start using this, go to display, go to advanced, and set the refresh rate to 120. Even if it shows 90 from outside, set it to 120 only, then your games will work on 90 FPS. I know the screen's it, screen is very, very bright, but uh, let me just quickly show you over here go back let's go back you can calibrate the color and everything you, you can see my complete review for that if you go to about phone you do see 
that this is the latest update that has been ported for this device. So there was a quick step-by-step -step guide of how to install Oxygen OS on the Poco X3 Pro. If this video helped you, please subscribe and like the video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.